People protesting outside Walt Disney Studios in Burbank tonight over what they are calling the company's quote unquote woke agenda. This anger stemming from Disney recently coming out against Florida's parental rights in education bill, which critics have dubbed the don't say gay bill. Travis Rice was at tonight's protest. He joins us live tonight in Burbank. Travis. Alex, this is Disney Studios. This is where a lot of the top executives reside and where a lot of those big decisions are made. But tonight, a Christian group was here to basically say they feel Disney isn't so family friendly anymore. It's the opposite of the Mickey Mouse Club. Hundreds of people, parents, and even kids demonstrating in front of Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, saying the company is leaning too far left. But to teach them at such a young age and to have a task force focusing on teaching these things to kids, I think it's just morally wrong as a Christian and just what I believe in my personal belief. In what appeared to be part church service and part protest, the group called Hold the Line is also encouraging people to hit the entertainment titan in the pocketbook. Right now it's a time to boycott and then it's a time to stand up. This mom drove in from Orange County. Our job is to be parents and then our job is to, you know, make sure that they're watching appropriate things. Just a few weeks ago, Disney employees walked out in Burbank claiming that the company had not done enough to stop the Florida education bill from becoming law. Meanwhile, Wednesday on Special Report, California's first transgender mayor, Lisa Middleton, weighed in on the saga. It is time for us in this country to step back and realize that members of the LGBTQ plus community are Americans. It's this idea that children are moldable and what are we doing? Disney's taking a stance to say, we know children are moldable and we're gonna do what we can to mold them in the image that we desire. Both sides couldn't be more animated about the issue, but those anti-Disney say they don't have a choice on speaking up. What do you say to people that say Disney's not making parents put their programming on for kids? Oh, that's fantastic. Um, I mean, what is the largest media corporation in the United States? Do people, are people forced to use Google? Are people forced to use Apple? Are people forced to fly in airplanes? No, these are just the most convenient, uh, powerful corporations. We did reach out to Disney, but have not heard back yet for their statement on the protest. However, for the boycott, one Twitter user did write to us that this would mean there would be less lines at Disneyland. Alex? All right, Bryce, Travis. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.